Alrighty, folks, we're going to do a uh, quick little review of the Southern 500 while I'm running around here practicing for the uh, Dynasty Racing League Throwback 250. Um, good race, I thought. The Southern 500 uh, always delivers pretty well. Uh, I really enjoyed that race. So, first stage, um, we started with uh, Denny Hamlin on pole. He led the first 11 laps, I think. For, yeah. And uh, then we kind of had what's become an unfortunately typical performance for the 11 team, Demi Hamlin, where they're really fast in practice, fast in qualifying. And then for whatever reason, race day comes along and they just don't have it. So once again, you know, Hamlin starts out front and then just kind of spends the whole race sort of working his way backwards through the field, which is the opposite of what you want to do on race day. Uh, Kyle Larson took over the lead, dominated, uh, leading the rest of stage one pretty much, and securing that stage win and getting the playoff point. Uh, interesting moment right at the end of stage one, Kyle Larson was coming up on Austin Dillon to put him a lap down. And Dillon squeezed him into the wall. Larson not happy with that. He ended up after that rolling out of the gas and letting a couple of drivers, uh, I believe it was Ricky Stenhouse and William Byron, back onto the lead lap. That was a little bit of a throwback move back to the days before uh, they used to field the freeze the field and you would race back to the line, the leader would often let anyone who was close to them get their lap back when the uh, caution had come out. So a little bit of a throwback there, throwback type move. Uh, stage two, Larson dominated it again. Um, Truex did lead a chunk. There was a good battle between Truex and Harvick at the beginning of the stage, but Larson took over and dominated. Ended up pulling a move where he put a lap on Austin Dillon at the line, taking you know, taking a little bit of revenge on what Austin Dillon had done. He made sure to nip him at the line and put him a lap down so that Austin Dillon would have to take the wave around and would not be able to uh, get his lap, you know, to come around and pit with the leaders. That forced Austin Dillon as the wave around car to start back at the end. Um, you also had uh, Kyle Busch kind of dumping Joey Gase off four. That's a similar situation to what we've seen a lot in iRacing this week where a faster car gets caught up behind a slower car and the speed difference is so much that, you know, Kyle's trying to get back to the throttle. Joey Gase just isn't going and ends up uh, turning him around. Um, stage three, the final stage. Once again, Kyle Larson dominant through the bulk of the stage until, and again, this was a little bit of a throwback deal, you had uh, some late cautions. The big one, uh, the big wreck between Clint Boyer and Ryan Newman. Ryan Newman slowing down to come into pit road. Slowing down kind of in the racing line, but kind of not. He was still on the track, but on the low side, and the line through three and four is generally on the high side. Clint Boyer, though, on fresh tires, was using the low line to get around the cars that were on older tires. And the speed differential, especially when Ryan Newman is slowing down to come off, I'll actually slow down to show you just how much it is, uh, how much you have to slow down. It's one of the hardest pit road entries, but lack of communication, whatever it was, Clint Boyer couldn't see Ryan Newman slowing down, and by the time I re he realized, see, if you if you want to pit like Ryan Newman was, you have to get to an almost stop at that point in the corner, and I even just missed the missed the commitment cone trying to do that. 
um, and I just got an unsafe pit entrance. So Ryan Newman really had to be on the brakes in the racing line. Uh, Clint Boyer didn't know it, so there was a lot of just miscommunication on that. Clint Boyer's spotter should have let Clint know that Newman was going to be pitting, but he can't do that if he doesn't know from Ryan Newman's spotter that Newman's going to be pitting. Um, just, you know, heat of the moment confusion led to a really big accident. A little bit of an entertaining moment when Newman intentionally backs his car into Clint Boyer. Thankfully, everyone was okay. Um, but that set up a, you know, kind of a quick succession where he had, I think, three cautions in a row. And on the final one, um, of course, being Darlington and as tough as this track is on tires, you're getting tires every single time you come down pit road. So the final caution, uh, which again, like I said, this was a bit of a throwback, the number two team, which is the same team that Rusty Wallace had where, you know, back in the early 90s, that team just got so good at clicking off pit stops and would get Rusty out front late in races to help him uh, get some wins. That happened with Brad Keselowski. They got him out first in that just beautiful looking Miller Genuine Draft throwback to this, the uh, car that Rusty won the Coke 600 with. And Keselowski wins the race. Just really cool stuff, big celebration. Keselowski waving the uh, red, white, and blue on the front straight celebrating victory lane. Rusty Wallace coming down and celebrating in victory lane with him. Uh, hated it for Kyle Larson because as much as he dominated that race, Larson definitely deserved to win it. But, you know, cool moment for Rusty, old school Rusty Wallace fans like myself seeing that car uh, in victory lane at the Southern 500. So, entertaining race. A um, lot of good stuff. Just I, lo I love the uh, Southern 500 throwback weekend. It it's always a good show. Always a lot of fun. Um, thank you guys for watching this. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wrap this little race review up here. Um, but if you like my stuff, please like this clip. Uh, go ahead and uh, click subscribe on my channel and ring the notification bell so you get updates about when I upload new videos and head over to twitch.tv slash John underscore A underscore Theodore. Click the heart button to follow and set up notifications so you can get notified when I go live. Join me for the next live stream. Thank you very much. Peace out.